Hello, everybody. Thanks for bearing with all the technical issues and whatnot. Uh, my name is Ben Corgan. I'm the CEO of Connect. Uh, we are a platform for building cellular connected devices. We make a suite of hardware and software tools that basically allow you to uh, take care of building a connected device in 10 minutes or less. So I'm going to walk through this deck. This is probably going to be a little bit old hat for some of you guys if you're at this conference, but uh, nonetheless, I think it's a nice story. So if I can figure out how to move forward, which I can't. I didn't talk to him. Pardon? I didn't talk to him. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, so three-fourths of new devices coming out over the next eight years will be outside the home uh, and require cellular connectivity or some other form of connectivity to be functional. Uh, so in contrast to you know, a lot of you know, smart home and uh, wearable type things that you see that are very, very popular, uh, you, uh, really you're going to end up with a lot of devices that need cellular connectivity to function. Examples of these are going to be smart grid sensors, smart vending machines, even internet-connected livestock. Now, if you're at this conference, it's probably not news to you. Uh, but there's a fundamental problem with this, right? So you have 12 billion cellular-connected devices coming online by 2020. Uh, about 50% of those people, uh, about 50% of the teams building those devices are going to be less than three years old. Uh, frequently, they're going to lack large engineering budgets. Uh, and you know, you're going to be talking teams of one to 10 people. So how are they gonna to manage to build all these devices with limited resources? And as we all know, building a cellular connected device or a connected device in general can be a lengthy and expensive process. Uh, and so Connect basically handles the infrastructure component of building a connected product. Now, regardless of what you're building, there's general things that can be repurposed almost every time. Uh, whether it's the hardware, software, or cloud services, Ultimately, you need something that can, A, communicate to the internet, software that can run on that device and then on the server side, and you need then a cloud to transmit the device back and forth. To develop this stuff takes a lot of time and money. And behind each one of these things, there's probably another dozen things you need to worry about, whether it be processors, writing firmware, FCC approvals, whatever it may be. So the goal of Connect is to allow you to focus on your core product rather than focusing on infrastructure. In that sense, we handle 95% of building a connected device. Using our uh, plug and play, or well, I should actually explain how the platform works. So essentially in order to do this, we have three components. We have a global SIM card that works in over 100 countries. You can think of it similar to Twilio for connected devices. Uh, so ultimately uh, you sign up, you have an account balance, very simple pricing. Uh, out of the box, no lengthy contract negotiations, nothing like that. We have a device management portal that allows you to manage all of your devices, which I'll, I'll show you guys after uh, I'm done going through the deck. Uh, we also have a full suite of REST APIs uh, that drive our platform, so we're extremely developer-focused. We have a cloud instance that allows for devices to communicate back and forth. You can think of this as similar to uh, Twitter for connected devices. Uh, so ultimately, a device can post with a topic, and then you can pull that down via API into your application very, very easily, a couple lines of code. Uh, and then, of course, we have the, the meat of it all, which really ties it together, which is our, which is our hardware. Uh, and so in this little guy, which is about the size of my thumb, you have two microcontrollers, onboard battery management, and a U-block cellular modem. And literally, you can wire this thing up, wire a sensor up to it, write two lines of code, flash will via uh, Arduino IDE, and you have a connected device. It's passing data through cellular networks with no configuration into our cloud, pull it down into any application you want. Uh, so all these different components really handle a lot of the meat of building a connected product. All you need to do is sort of wire up the additional components, which would be, you know, it could be a, a GPS module, it could be a soil monitor, it could be a smart uh, beacon uh, for, a, for a drone landing pad. It could be really anything. Um, so that's, that's what Connect does. Uh, now, ultimately, why is this valuable? Uh, with, the, with the hardware that we have and the software we have, we allow you to build a connected product 10 times faster with, ten, with one tenth of the cost. Uh, you know, rather than having to develop uh, you know, your own boards, go through FCC approvals yourself, negotiate cellular contracts, et cetera, you can just use our platform. Very simple.
We've only launched recently. We already have a fair amount of large customers using the product, including Disney, Monsanto, Twilio, uh, Accenture, Climate Corporation, a uh, variety of others. Uh, and every day we're getting you know, multiple inbound leads with really, really interesting products. Uh, and for us, you know, we really just want to see people build the coolest thing possible. Uh, that's what excites us. Um, so I don't really know how much time I have left up here. Uh, it's very a little bit unclear. Uh, but um, I guess I'll just open this up to questions. I should mention before I do, though, uh, that we have our booth right over there. It's 425. We're handing out free SIM cards uh, with, uh, I think we've got about three megs, three data, free data on there. Um, so you can actually play around with the platform. And you can get, we'll give you a live demo of the device as well, uh, where you can actually see data passing through uh, into the cloud. Uh, and uh, we'll answer any other questions you might have. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's Connect. Uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for your, your attention. Okay, a round of applause to start. Okay, now, Ben, some questions. Is there a question from the audience? Can you tell me about the Monsanto relationship? What are you doing there? Are you making sure that gen uh, genetically modified food is going to the right place? Uh, I, I think it's uh, more focused on uh, water management. But, oh, cool. Uh... Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. But, you know, whatever they do with it, I, ca I can't uh, necessarily speak for it. No, that's fine. That's fine. And Twilio, I always think of Twilio as being an enabler. So when do you get involved with the Twilio relationship? Is it mostly you're their solution to help them with wireless, or how does it work with, with them? Well, so ultimately, I mean, with companies like Twilio, we're dealing with platform partners. So people, you know, we, we essentially provide tie-in. So I don't know if anyone here is a web developer has ever used Heroku or anything like that with uh, third-party add-ons. So we have a variety of different tie-ons that allow you to essentially, you know, take advantage of, well, with Twilio specifically, I take advantage of very cheap SMS, which is something in the machine-to-machine -machine world is uncommon. Right. Agreed. Any other questions from the audience? Going once, twice, and the booth once again is 425, which you can't miss. It's right in front of the bar. So, Ben, good planning on your part. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone, give them a round of applause.